hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today I am sharing a personal experience um this is my testimony strictly how I found God and how I'm still growing and glowing in God and stuff like that so I don't want to prolong this intro but if you're not already make sure you hit that subscribe button keep up to date with me and my college life my hair journey and all that good stuff and we just gonna go for the ride but all right guys thanks for tuning in and let's get into this testimony okay so at the age of 13 i had got saved oh my god i decided to get saved at the age of 13 i don't know why um it's so funny because i always had a passion and a pull and a a, a desire to get to know God and to get involved in the church and stuff like that never knowing why because I wasn't even around people that were in the church I wasn't around anyone that was interested in the church or anything like that it was something my heart desired and I was like I gotta get to know God a little deeper okay I'm not gonna stop I'm gonna stop playing but on a serious note so I, at a young age I always had this passion and this desire so let's rewind a little bit so when I was younger, my mom would take me to church, me and my brother, um, up until I was about the age of four or five. And then we stopped going for a really long time. Then it was it was like God used me to bring my family like back into the church. So at the age of 13, I had began telling my mom, like, I want to get into the church. I want to do X, Y, and Z. I want to do this. I want to do this. I just had this strong desire. And so she's like, okay, you know, we're going to find a church home or whatever the case may be. So thanks to my godmom, um, she usually goes to church every new year and we decided to go to church with her. And I always got so excited about going to church. Why? I have no, like, no idea. I just said like, I was just very passionate about being in the presence of God and stuff like that. So I just had a desire. So I was so excited to always go to church and she's like, um, okay, we're gonna go to church with you know your godmother or whatever and the service was amazing and so I was like oh my god we have to go back to this church because it's not far from where we live it's literally like right down the street we have to go back here and so I started going to this church and I was like oh my gosh like I really love it um the the worship was amazing the praise was amazing um everything was just comfortable it felt right to me and so this is where it gets personal okay so when I was 13, um, I was in middle school and I was struggling a lot with my identity, uh, my worth, I had low self-esteem, I had depression, and I struggled with anxiety. Yeah. And nobody knew. I didn't even know. Like, I was just like, <laughs> I didn't even know that's what I was struggling with until I came to a realization like oh my gosh I am down in the dumps <laughs> you know I'm this is ridiculous like there has to be more to life than being super sad all the time and feeling all these unnecessary emotions right so I struggled with that for a really long time um, I would come home crying all the time and I didn't have any friends um, I had one friend and life to me at that time was like there was no purpose i was like i'm here for no reason if i'm here to feel like this all the time there's no point in me being here i had crazy thoughts um i just really struggled i really really struggled at the age of 13. um i struggled with depression anxiety up until i was 16 years old now how are you struggling with that and you said you got in the church okay the church isn't going to fix all your problems God is the only person that can do that so I started going to church and I would sit and I would listen to what the preacher had to say and stuff like that and that started like manifesting like within myself within my soul and my spirit and believe it or not like a lot of the things he spoke on a lot of things he preached it helped me through so from 13 to 16 um i was like a newbie christian girl and i don't really like to say that because i'm not really religious because i'm more so 
love the relationship I have with God. I'm not really concerned about being religious and walking around with Jesus on my forehead all day. I don't really care about that stuff. That's good. That's amazing. But we have to get out of religion and get into relationship because religion will not save you, but God will. Okay. I don't feel like preaching. <laughs> so at the age of 13, like I said, I was going through depression and all this stuff and I found Christ. And I just felt this pull, this urge to like get to know him for myself. Um, I would, like I said, I wasn't around anyone that wanted to do this. This was something I wanted to do on my own because I wanted better for myself. But I couldn't get better unless I knew what better was, unless I knew who better was. So I remember um, just praying all the time and like crying out to God and asking him like please help me you know I don't want to be sad all the time I don't want to deal with this anxiety guys my anxiety was so bad to the point where as soon as I walk out the house I would be dripping sweat and I would have to go back in and like change my it was so bad and nobody knew this I didn't tell anybody everybody would just think Danae is just this happy-go-lucky girl but when I went home I was broken when I went home I was dealing with so much stuff when I went home and I was by myself all the time I was struggling so the deeper I got in God the more these feelings started to go away and I'm talking about the feeling of sadness the feeling of depression the feeling of anxiety they started to go away and the more I pressed the happier I got and it was a fight because when you're struggling with something like like that deep it's hard to shake especially when it's like all you're familiar with so I was depressed for a long time didn't even know why you know and depression that's something you have to literally pull yourself out of and with the help of God of course like I said through prayer through fasting through reading the word and stuff like that because the word is what is what cleanses you is what helps you so in high school um, I wasn't like everyone else I couldn't do what everyone else did. I didn't feel comfortable and I didn't know my purpose. I didn't know anything. But when I got into God is when I found out everything I needed to know within myself, um, within what I wanted to do in life, why I was even here, why I was brought here. And it's funny because a lot of people say like, I remember you were never like this or like you were like this at one point and God is real like there was a point where I didn't even believe like I was like please that God stuff because if God was real this wouldn't happen if God was real this wouldn't happen but it's when I started to believe that I started to see manifestation and I'm like oh my gosh so I started to believe God for me to to be healed I from my broken brokenness I started to believe God to deliver me from depression I started to believe God to deliver me from anxiety. I believed him to do a lot of things for me and he did just that. And that's how, like a lot of people be like, whoa, like you're so different. Like you look really good. Like you have a different glow. And I just give all things to God because there was a point where I didn't have none of this. Like there was a point where I used to, I used to have attitude. I used to be sassy and I was never mean, but I used to hang around some real, you know, nasty, sassy. And I just got myself up out of that and I'm like there's there's more to life than being sad there's more to life than struggling there's more to life than trying to cover up emotions and one thing I have learned through my journey and getting to know God for myself is to deal with it and not cover it up whatever the issue may be and that's what I would do I would dress up my depression I would dress up my anxiety and just because I looked good I didn't feel good I was struggling so I just went to God and I'm like, God, I need you to speak to me. You know, I need you to really help me because this is not where I want to be. And so I just started trusting. I got involved in church and that's when I began praise dancing. And I found that that is my place of peace. That is my place of worship. And nobody can ever take that away from me. When I dance, especially um, with the help of like the spirit, when I dance spiritually wise, it feels so soothing so never mind what I'm going through but when I start dancing I just feel free and I also like want to put out there that getting to know God is nothing like deep or spooky like people always run from the fact like Jesus the Holy Bible and all of this stuff it's not that deep because God is not caring about religion he's 
caring about the relationship between you and him. So the deeper you get in God, the higher you go in life. And that just spoke to me. I don't know where. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> that just spoke to me. The deeper you go in God, the higher you go in life. And you don't have to struggle with a broken heart forever and stuff like that. And so that's how I found God. I found God through my brokenness, through my pain, through my struggles. I found God. And it has been the best decision I have ever made. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um... I love God with like my whole heart and like <laughs> I realize I can't be like everybody else. I can't do what everyone else is doing. Like I'm 19 now and I have grown so much and it's just like I can't be like everyone else and I don't have a desire to be. Like I desire to be who God called me to be and the only way you can figure out who God called you to be is to want to know and then to get to know him. So... It, it life has been really good to me um yes i still go through trials and tribulations but now i have a source so with the help of god i'm like god this situation right here it gotta go like i don't know how i'm gonna deal with this you know and i don't really have to worry too much either because god has pro proven himself to me time and time and time again and so like i said the deeper you go in god the higher you go in life and the better you get with handling situations too when depression's thinks it's going to creep back up on me no i gotta recite a scripture like no you know god does not give me a spirit of fear but of power and love and of a sound mind and stuff like that <laughs> and that's just really it like that's how i found god just going through some stuff you know it was a lot it was a lot it was sad but the most important thing is that I found my place of happiness because I no longer struggle with depression. I no longer struggle with anxiety. I no longer struggle with my self-esteem. I look in the mirror and I'm like, girl, you look good. You know what I'm saying? And it's all about your well-being, your soul and everything like that. It's so much deeper. But <laughs> and people always make fun of me like, oh, you're a church girl. Ah, I've been getting that for ages and I just laugh and keep it pushing because I'm good over here. Like, I look good. I feel good. You know, I'm light on my feet. I'm okay, you know? I'm not struggling with anything big anymore because I found my place of peace and happiness. And so, yeah, that's my little short testimony. Um, life was just, like, looking back, it's like, wow, like, I really came a long way. And God just had me covered the whole time. Because there's been multiple times where I really could have lost my life. But God was like keeping me covered the whole time because the purpose he has for me is so much greater than where I was. And so I just want to say, it doesn't matter what you're going through, whether you believe or you don't, there is a solution to every problem. And my solution was God. And I just pray, you know, that your solution is God too. So that is the end of this video. And that's a little bit of my testimony, how I found God, you know, I found him through the struggle. Sometimes you got to go through some stuff, <laughs> but that's a little bit of my story. And I don't know, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.